I'm a paper magician and this paper secret episode is all about shoe houses and boot houses and paper shoes. I've met several shoe houses, boot houses, cowhead shoes in the past, mainly inspired by the 18th century and the Marie Antoinette era, which I adore, because we don't imagine princesses wearing all the kind of shoes than 18th century shoes with their specific spool heels, uh, which we call in French talon bobine, which means they are much thicker and wider at the bottom than at the middle, and I really love this these um, heels, so I really love doing these shoes. When it comes to paper shoes and paper shoe houses, there are tons of questions. Perhaps you ask yourself this question. First, where to start? What is the very, very first step to create a paper shoe? And is it a good idea to mold a shoe you already have, for example? Uh, to use a real shoe or to mold it? How to do a high, strong, supportive, high heel with paper, for example, a very strong, very secure heel with paper. I've showed you in previous picture the boot house I made, which had two stories, and there were ways to do that. So perhaps you wonder that, how to do two stories, rooms, and all this interesting part of the, of the, of the shoe house, which is the dollhouse part. And what are the best paper techniques to use? What are the best papers to use to make a paper shoe? For the paper techniques, you can use a combination of papier mache, which is always super simple and will be a very strong and secure base. And in my case, I like to use my signature technique, which I adore, with mulberry paper and wood glue. And if you are interested in this technique, you can watch a previous episode, which was all about that. And I like to mix them when I create big pieces, my dollhouses, and also my boot houses or my shoe houses. And the very beginning is usually partly with wood glue and other papers and the regular papier mache technique for the very beginning. They want really white papers to use. You can use pretty much any paper you want provided they are pretty. Um, I use newspaper, of course, for the papier mache technique, which is the best paper to use for that. Otherwise, I use any paper I have. Um, for the decor, you can really use anything, provided it's pretty. Now, is it a good idea to mold a shoe you already have or to use a shoe as a kind of base to create a fairy tale 18th century baroque shoe? Perhaps it's not the best idea. It can work, but it's going to be pretty limited. If you want to, to work on a different scale, on a much bigger scale, on a really smaller scale, your own shoes won't really work. They are going to be very heavy and you can't have this very fairy tale style you can have if you do the shoot to sell it on your own with paper and a bit of cardboard and foam board. And doing a paper shoe, a shoe house, is going to take many days, I would say almost weeks, probably several days, because you have to let things dry and come back, especially if you want to do a very sophisticated boot or a very sophisticated shoe house. You need to invest time to do it and uh, you need to think about all the drying times you will have to include in your uh, creative process. Another big thing with shoe houses or very high boot house is to build your shoe in a straight way, in a straight manner. That is very tricky because it's going to be a little heavy, uh, papier mache is always wet and it's, it will have a tendency to, <laughs> to to fall apart a little or not to be really straight and there are a lot of little tricks to to help you building your shoe or your boot in a straight way you can have supportive tools to help you do that especially for the heel uh, don't try to <laughs> don't build your house unless your heel is perfectly straight so i would recommend to try to do a paper shoe a uh, shoe house entirely in paper and not to try to start with your own shoes. You are going to destroy them, to damage them and the result won't be very pretty. What is the very first step you need to do to create your paper shoe or your shoe house? Obviously you have to start by the sole. 
and the hill. This is the secret. You are not going to start by the complete, complete house, but by the very beginning, because it's really like a foundation, like a dull house, you need to start by the beginning. So a foam board base would be just perfect. And this secret on how to start, I'm going to show you this in my upcoming uh, webinar, which, was, which will be all about my upcoming boot house online class. And I'm going to show you there exactly how to start. Now, if you are interested in paper shoe and shoe houses, my new course is going to be a shoe house workshop. I will give May the 22nd a webinar, which is a live presentation of this workshop. Um, I'm going to reply to questions. You could ask me there any questions. I will show you the very beginning of the workshop, how to start. What is the very beginning of the of how to create a boot house like this? And um, there will be also a presentation of the website, all that. It's going to be a one hour long presentation, live workshop, if you will. And you will have all the informations below if you click on the link and you will be lead to the um, boot house workshop and you will find the page, the informations you need and you could register there if you're interested to attend my uh, live presentation, my live little workshop, uh, which will present you this new boot house workshop. And if you are watching this video in the future, you can you can click on the link, it's still there, and it will lead you to the class, which is still there. I'm always interested to read your comments, and for now, I wish you a very good day. 